TV Channel 7. I wanted to show you high resolution model data which I think has a fairly good handle on the situation what we're dealing with with Isaac and uh, starting this uh, loop here in the afternoon. This is simulated radar uh, through early afternoon on Thursday and then we'll take you to the current time. We're recording this at about 640 uh, and taking you to what we call zero Zulu time which is 7 p.m. It, it is actually it's doing a very good job on picking up on the rainfall and this band of very heavy rain that's coming up into central Arkansas, these uh, outer feeder bands with the center of Isaac in and around, it's a depression now, but in and around El Dorado and it's going to continue to move off towards the northwest. But let me show you what's going to happen overnight. Uh, that's at 8, 9, 10. Look at the very heavy rain near the Mississippi River and rain continues to come down uh, a deluge in, in uh, central and western and southwestern Arkansas during the overnight hours. It looks like it's trying to wrap in a little bit of dry air, a little dry slotting in here, uh, another very heavy band of rain. This is uh, at 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, and the center of Isaac is out here in southwest Arkansas moving towards the northwest. So there's going to be continuous rainfall overnight, maybe a little break here and there, uh, let's go to 7 o'clock in the morning. The center of Isaacs in West Central going into Northwest Arkansas. We have areas of rain wrapping into it. And again, these bands here. Now watch what happens during the afternoon, though. Uh, things try to clear out a little bit, and the clouds are breaking up. I don't know how, to what extent those clouds are going to break up. But notice, watch what happens late in the afternoon. You get a little heat instability and then there's shear in the atmosphere from the system itself and look at the thunderstorms which develop especially late tomorrow afternoon into the evening uh, you can see some clusters of showers and thunderstorms that's why the storm prediction center has put a slight risk for severe weather into the forecast i think and, and it doesn't last all that long by 10 o'clock uh friday night it's dying out and moving off towards the north with the center of low pressure so i just want to show you i'll show you a loop once again uh, of the whole situation with this high resolution a simulated radar as this continues to bring rain, Isaac, a little break, and then tomorrow afternoon some showers and thunderstorms develop, and then those should fizzle out as well. So I'll keep you updated as much as I can on Twitter, KTV underscore weather, uh, of course, on Facebook, uh, look me up, Todd Jacoby, and, and of course, I've got in-depth information about this on the Arkansas weather blog um, about that uh, slight risk for severe weather. Everybody stay dry, stay safe.